Prince Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. These comma struckings, then we got a drag there. Darkness behind ye, darkness before ye. Geralt, friend, what brings you here? The fight for the throne's grown fierce. Strife between siblings is never good. I know from experience, Yalmar's ambitious, but to a fault. We'd all be better off were his sister to win. Really think so? Or is that gratitude speaking? I am grateful as Hemdel's my witness. No one's ever done more for me than you and that lass. More important, she showed great cunning and courage. Qualities the Isles need now more than ever. Farewell. Got a minute? Farewell. Them supper knives are good for picking your teeth, sir. Ox. Man needs worries like a boat needs ballast. The sail's straight and even. Seen the plan? We were. Strange, huh? Don't eat so much. Quite a spit, huh? So fast, Roach. If Miretta wants something from the continent, I go on her name. Show me what you got from the Isles instead. Ah, this is all sorts of tripe about Doodle Ring. To me. Claims he talks to the gods like I'm talking to ye. Uh, decent folk live here. Most humbly beg your pardon, but I'm in quite a predicament, see. I'm, I'm a wandering juggler from Occupy to Maria and... To Maria? You sure? Not Novigrad? What? Why Novigrad? No, I come from Maribor and... Uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's too short. See, we've met. But you were a respected Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. Oh, but, but I assure you, I... All right, all, all right, you got me. I, I know this all looks bad, but I, I swear... I... I'll pay you back, mate. All of it, with with interest. Just please, don't don't take me to the yard. Definitely won't get my coin back if I turn you in. But try to cheat me again, and I'll find you. I'll find you, and I'll. Yeah, I ain't lying. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later.
You know, I'm not in the mood for a rough rising today. Oh, they did him good. Caught his poncho, pulled out his guts, and made him run around a tree thinking about it. I don't know, but I'm afraid we shan't see him again. Eve, why are you talking like that? Went down to the river to do my wash. Got there. Water was running red with blood. Someone might have been <laughs> gotten fish upstream. Perhaps. We should ask Freya to make it so. Greetings. Greetings? Mind if I have a look at your herbs? Fare thee well. To the last. Well, greetings. You need more no. time in the aisles. Build your fortitude. You hear something in the woods, like the grunting of a deer, only louder. Better run back to the village at once. Why is that, Grandad? Monster prowls there. Hmm. The kind that would swallow kids like you. Oh. Well, my dad's off yeah, fighting the black ones. I'd cut his belly open from the inside, like this, and then smack him in the head, like this. You, Odin? I am. Hear about me, sonny? Where should I look for your son? East of here. It's the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some rogues from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve, a cheerful lad, a bit of a lisp, nothing special about his looks, except last I saw him he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely, none other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. I am...
Interesting. Fang and claw wounds all over the body, but those indicate feeding. He died from a blow to the head. A fiend. It's lair to lick its wounds. Need to track it down. Ate only the entrails. Fussy. No Ove here. Maybe the fiend dragged him off. this way. This way, toppling trees. Won't get away this time.
Yellow tunic. Must be Ove. Avenged those boys. There's that at least. Can come out. They're dead. Who are they? Bandits. Matman Lugos's men. And who are you, my good man? Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Thanks for your aid. If you'd not come by, we'd have been done for. Lugos will wonder what happened to his men. What'll you do? Don't worry about us. Send my boy off to care troll the hasty lake. The Earl's not like to let Lugos off. You'd best watch your own back. Lugos finds out, he'll try to get even. Think I'll manage. Good luck. Oh! Where are you walking? Guys, who continue my line? Mind if I interrupt? Nay, my prayers are in vain, anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I, I am. Look, see it lying there. 
a horse head on the pole? That's... A nithing. Kind of curse, seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at, can bring misfortune, even death. Aye, and the name carved upon it is Tialva, my firstborn. Boy's feverish, grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but... No luck. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm-hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. Hey there. sense. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. come a long way. Aye? What's it you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist. Lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. Yet carries himself proud. Greetings. Any tidings? Bad ones. Your son's dead, killed by a fiend. All I could do was avenge him. I told him, son, nothing good ever came out of Pharaoh. Stay home. Your time will yet come for adventures and glory. Your reward. This gold brought me no luck. May it serve you better. What did I think of next? Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the nithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tialva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride. 
but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. No, I have not been had. Nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. Recognize your type a mile away. You know who placed the knifing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So, will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! Can't do that. Yona doesn't deserve it. And my son? Does he? No. But he doesn't have to die. You have a choice. All right. If it'll save Chalva, I'll go back to the hussy. And you... Best not see your face round here again. <laughs> <laughs>